Okay, we're up in the air. It's a little cool out here. took behind us and off to our left. It's a beautiful day out here. We're getting some unusual warm weather. It's uh, 70 degrees. So today we're flying with a little bit different uh, phone setup. Normally you'll see my phone connected right over here and now it's uh, down here on my leg, I'm on a leg strap. And uh, the reason for that is that uh, the vibration off of the trike, off of the frame, I've gone through two iPhones, uh, two brand new iPhone 11. And uh, what, what has happened is the camera won't uh, focus anymore. So after talking to uh, Apple and getting two new phones, this is the second one. Uh, they sent me a new one, which was no problem. Uh, but uh, reading some articles on uh, different motorcycle riders and uh, uh, bicycle riders that have them mounted on the handlebar, they've had the same issue where that uh, the shaking or the vibration uh, from the, uh, the trike has messed up their uh, cameras as well. So I've decided to take it off of that mount. Uh, the iPhone that I had before that I used to use, I never had a single problem, but the uh, camera wasn't as fancy as this camera. If anybody has anything, uh, I know there's a lot of people, some of the newer flyers, they want me to walk around my trike and show you things that I have that are unique to the fly pod, but really uh, you know, there's nothing unique about it other than my seat and my uh, you know, I just put a different cushion on it. That's the original seat with a different cushion. And, uh, and you know, then this butt shield is different. Everything else is pretty much uh, standard on it switched out the phone mount, so I've gone to a different phone mount now. I'm tired of tearing up the phones. I've got a, a few uh, strobes uh, that I use that are not really unique. Anybody can get them. Uh, I do like the, uh, the Guardian Angel that I use, and I like the uh, Hunter strobe, I think that's a, a nice strobe. I've got some other ones. Uh, the Hunter and the uh, Guardian Angel uh, run off a battery, so you just recharge them. There's no, you know, you don't have to run any big battery packs or anything, which makes it kind of nice. Uh, but I have an Abram strobe that's nice. I like it. It works well. And I have another strobe. And uh, I've got a few other strobes. Actually, I got a new strobe in the other day. Uh, that was sent to me uh, well I bought it and uh, I thought it was going to be something super exciting and it's not as exciting as I thought it was going to be but uh, I'm going to make a video of all the strobes and all the portable strobes I've got a couple portable strobes and uh, I've actually got one strobe that I'd like to hook up and make it it's actually just two Xeon uh, flash uh, it's a Xeon flash strobe, and it's not really uh, a strobe. It wasn't meant to be a strobe, but uh, it really is bright, and it flashes. Uh, I don't know how long it will last. I don't know much about it other than I've had it for a year. I've wanted to put it together into some sort of form, uh, anything or something, and uh, it's pretty bright. But I'll have to do a video just on those units, put them together, and and show you just different ones and so forth. A lot of people are always seem to be interested in strobe. I had one guy, now he's probably gonna watch his video, and he said to me, well, he wasn't too interested in a strobe because he figured he wasn't gonna be flying uh, after sun, you know, 
after the sun uh, set time and and uh, early in the morning. Well, you know that's the best time to fly. Still, how some of the trees are still uh, very pretty out there. They're turning more brownish orange, and a lot of the fields are starting to open up. And uh, you can see the uh, see that the corn and the soybeans are down. I'm out here with David, and uh, we both got a good launch, even with the wind behind us. Uh, a fairly slow wind, but uh, we started down on the other end and uh, stayed there and waited. And the wind was going one way, so then we went down to the other end, and the wind shifted. But it was dying down, so we figured we could probably manage a takeoff. Which we were able to, which was good. Up here about 760 feet, doing about 30 miles an hour. Trims are set at about three. A lot of fires burning out there. You can see a lot of uh, smoke going up and a lot of haze in the sky. Flying over the river. So hopefully everybody's getting a chance to see some of the videos. I'm trying to release them every Friday at uh, 9 a.m. in the morning. I guess 9 a.m. is morning. And uh, taking some of my hour-long uh, videos and cutting them into smaller segments so that uh, people can kind of enjoy that. David's coming right at me, straight ahead. Sundown is about, uh, about 5.15. A little bumpy over here by the hills. Flying over here in some different areas today. Got my old man sunglasses on. So I'm ready to go. I'm over here in the area where, uh, oh, a couple of years ago, or last year, I can't remember now, I, uh, Dropped my iPhone, and I lost my iPhone. There's a video out there where I lost my iPhone. And uh, lucky I found it. I uh, flew back to the runway and uh, the LZ and was able to find it. Still worked. Worked well. Doing about 24 miles an hour, about 250 feet in the air. I want to make a shout out to Mike. Mike Steele. It is good to see you back in the air, my friend. It's been a long time waiting, and I look forward to seeing a lot of your videos. Shout out to Lawrence. I know you're not uh, going to fly. I know uh, I'm doing all the flying for you, and uh, I appreciate you making comments on my uh, videos, and uh, I hope... Uh, I hope that my flying uh, makes your uh, life better, uh, knowing that uh, someone's at least out here flying for you. Crockett, get well. You know we're all thinking about you. Get yourself back up in the air. 
get going. Mark, Chris, Frank, going to be a new pilot out there, coming out of California. Got guys all over the place. Some of you have been interested in this uh, mud shield or mud, uh, whatever you want to call it, uh, this uh, gray uh, shield where my mirror's on. Uh, if you're interested in uh, buying one, uh, I may have a solution for you. Uh, I think it'd be with or without the mirror, depending on what you want. Uh, so, if you're interested, I haven't come up with a price yet. I'm working with with a David uh, to come up with something, and that'd be completely assembled or close to simple to where you can at least put it in a package that doesn't cost too much and ship it out. All you got to do is put the nuts and bolts in it and then connect it. So David's talking about maybe going with different colors, gray, black, red, blue, all that. So if you're interested, 